You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, you are all that matters. Jesus, you are all that matters. Hi, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, one and all. It's an honor. It's a privilege to be here one more time in the presence of God. Just giving, giving Him all the honor, giving Him all the glory. And I, what I want to say this morning... When Jesus was here on earth, he went through all type of hmm, he went through all type of persecution. He went through all type of, from people they criticize him. They do all type of things to Jesus our Savior and this morning I want to say no matter your situation no matter how down you may feel I say dust yourself off and get up dust yourself off and get up God has called all of us to do his will to do his work and will face all type of persecution will go through as long as you decide to walk with Jesus you will go through you will go through all type of things from those close to us from our family members and one of the things that always it's always ministered to me more than anything. When Philip went and called Nathaniel and he said, Come, see the Messiah, the Messiah is here. His reply was, Can anything come from out of Nazareth? And this morning I am saying to you, a lot of God has called so many of us. A lot of us is evangelizing to others, ministering to others, the good work of God. But at a certain time, we have critics saying, Can anything come? from out of Nazareth it happened back when Jesus was on earth and it is happening now people see you're doing the work of God see you're doing the work is work and the first thing is can there anything come out of Spring Garden can there anything come from out of Chelani can there anything come from out of Jamaica can there anything come from out of Harlan and Denzel House? Yes, something good can come out. That is all. The limit some persons put on us. They know you. You were living here. You were living in this community. And God using you mightily for his kingdom. And they begin to criticize can anything come out of she? Well, I am encouraging someone today. Something good can come out of you because God has called you. God has called you to do his work. God has called you to do his will. Don't mind the critics. Don't mind the persecution. Dust yourself off and get up. The word of God says, Blessed are those who hear and believe blessed who hear the word of God and believe without seeing but you hear the word of God and you, you read about the word of God and you believe it 
Don't put no limit on yourself. God don't put no limit on us. Don't let others dictate who you can be and who you cannot be. Don't limit yourself because someone see you're doing the work of God. See you're doing the will of God. But the first thing is, can anything good come out of you? And I am telling you today, something good can come out of you. No matter who put you down. God don't put you down. God don't put no limit on you. Something good. You may in a rocky situation now. You may, you may be in a, a situation now where you're wondering and say, where is God? But listen here. Jesus is here. He is in the boat. Our, your Savior, Jehovah God, is in the boat. And it will calm the sea. It will calm the sea in your life. It's, it will calm whatever you're going through. Our, our Savior still walks. He walks underwater. Jesus Christ is alive and well today. Don't let nobody put you down. Don't let no one put no limit on you. Can there any good thing come from out of Nazareth? Of course, something good can come out of Nazareth. And something good can come out of you. Something good coming out of me. And no matter who want hear, you're speaking or you're talking about the word of God. But guess what? Some of them will have a positive side to what you're saying and while others will have a negative side to what you say. It's not everyone is going to agree with you. It's not everyone is God want to be your followers. Right? So you don't worry about the critics. Don't worry about what others have to say. That is my word. To you today whoever you are whatever you're going through sometimes in life we think we are not sometimes in life we are doing the will of God right but there have a time come when some things will go through your mind based on what people say right and then you start questioning yourself and you start questioning God and say, God is really you using me. But guess what? Yes, it is God. God is using you. God is using you for his glory. God is using you for his kingdom. I never know. At a time I was down. And... I never know I was such a impact to others until I started getting feedback from persons that I've been encouraging. I start getting good feedback from them saying, continue to do the work of God. Continue to do what God has called you to, to do because you has, have changed my life. So if I'm impacting others and I'm changing their lives, there is no need for me to be down. There is no need for me to worry. There is no need for me to fret about anything because God is still on the throne. God is alive and well today. And I just want to say, this morning, be of good cheer. The Lord is with you. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord is your light and your salvation. The Lord walk with you. The Lord go with you. The Lord is God. Is Jesus Christ is in your boat this morning. Fret not yourself. Fret not yourself. Don't worry about tomorrow. But there is hope for you.